Hi guys, so this is day six of the 1K challenge. Um, I'm not sure what to make of today. It was um, it was a bizarre day and um, I'll tell you why. I'll just start off with the, the total um, profit. So it was $232 after commissions. Um, I made three trades, eyes, EYES, lost on that heavily pre-market, then made uh, $38 on AEHR and ADPD, kind of saved the day. It's been a really strange day today, maybe because of Easter, but just the price action hasn't been what I'm used to seeing. So let me go through the the charts. So uh, EYES. So I took this here pre-market at uh, 8, 10 a.m. Uh, thinking, as I did yesterday, that this is pretty positive news. I mean, it was already up about 30%, I think, on the day, 25, 29% on the day. Um, but I figured it's got good news. Um, it, it's the first time that they've done some kind of eye surgery that's been successful in Asia, and, and it looked like it was pretty good news. And obviously, the stock respected that. So I thought, okay, it looks fine. And um, I got in there at $1.57, and it really didn't do anything, and it just started going down from there. So I held it through this through this low point here, <clears throat> and I was thinking that it may come up at certain points in time, but... It just got, kind of got stuck at this 152 level. And then as it started breaking down, I just thought I'm going to cut my losses. So I got out at $1.45, I think it was. That was a massive $280 loss. Um, now, what that's taught me is that, okay, I had a really good pre-market trade yesterday, which made my day. But I've also got to be a little bit careful that pre-market, obviously, you know, it isn't quite quite as um, as when the market's open. So next time, I'm going to take a smaller position pre-market if I trade. Overall, I've got a pretty good record for trading pre-market. So I'm just going to have to stick to this for a little bit more to get a bit more data for analysis before I can conclude whether it's a good viable strategy or not. So that's eyes. Um, the next trade, as soon as the market opened, was AEHR, which is here. Now, this whipped around a lot. I mean, you can see these wicks on these candles. It was a pretty scary stock to be in. Um, when I was in it, um, I wasn't very comfortable, to be honest. And and that's the reason why I'm saying today is just it's just a very strange day. I'm I'm not at all happy with my trading. I'm I'm very unhappy with how I did. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, so I got in here. It was like a three cent gain simply because I just wanted to get out of this stock. It just it wasn't behaving as as well as I thought it should, and I held through some pain as well, which just complicated things. Um, the best trade of the day was this one here, ADPD, which I think also traded yesterday or the day before. Uh, twenty four cent gain on this one. Also about two thousand shares. I got in at four dollars fifty two. Um, once again, you know, quite weepy. Um, so once again, not a really good place to get in. I mean, my timing was awful today. And I got in here, I got out at uh, 470. Um, so that that kind of made up for the horrible day. Now, this is why I'm pretty upset with myself today. Look at my drawdown. At, at, its, at its worst point, I was down over $700 today. Yes, I came back. And yes, I finished the day green. But Realistically, I mean, if you take away this, so this pre-market trade is what kind of set things off. So if you factor in this $280 loss into here, I'm still down like $550 um, unrealized um, when I was holding ADPD and AEHR. So, okay, I've come out in the green, but would I have held through this if it was live money? No way. No way in hell would I have held through this. So the lesson here is, um, yes, paper trading is good to a certain extent, but this is one of the limitations. It's very clear to see what one of the limitations is. I didn't have that emotional, um, the kind of emotional impact that I have with real money trading my paper account. And yes, while I'm getting the, the patents down most of the time and they're working out most of the time, um, the management and the timing um, is just not in confluence with how the real world works with real money. So while I will put this down as a positive day in terms of uh, end of day gain, the actual trading, very, very ordinary. Very ordinary to say the least. So um, let me bring up the chart and I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing going forward. So 
Um, so this is the the progress gain. So two hundred thirty two dollars net today uh, brings me running total to nine hundred sixty three. So close to the one thousand dollar challenge I set myself. Now this is what I'm going to do going forward. Um, once I reach this, um, hopefully I'll reach it um, Monday or Tuesday. Once I reach this challenge. I'm not going to go live money because I'm not happy with the way I traded today. I don't think it's realistic. I think in the real world, I would have cut losses and say it would have been a red day. Um, if not $280, then then I would have cut it when I was down 500 for sure. So this is not a day that I would say it's a good day. Um, good lessons to be learned, but I'm actually, in a way, I'm actually unhappy that I made money because if I had lost money, it would have really stood out for me and it would have been a blemish which would have been good in the long run because I would have been able to analyze it and learn from it. The fact I came out green is okay, yes, I got a bit lucky, but I'm definitely going to be making a lot, a lot of notes down in trade review uh, regarding these trades and, and just how awfully I traded them. So what will I do once I reach 1K? I'm going to do another challenge. Um, I'll, I'll put something on my blog in terms of what that amount will be. Um, but it'll certainly be along similar lines to what I've done here. And I'm going to treat it as seriously as I have this challenge, but I will be putting in some kind of um, default settings. In other words, if I reach a maximum loss at any stage um, of an unrealized uh, or realized loss over a certain amount, I will stop trading for the day like I should have done this morning. Um, so that's a lesson for me for next time. And um, that's it for today. So hopefully you guys will have a great Easter and um, um, obviously the market's closed tomorrow. I'll be back on Monday. Uh, wishing you guys a fantastic weekend and a fantastic Easter and uh, we'll talk Monday. Cheers guys, bye.